Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Senga! <laughs> is a favorite on the road here, big mismatch. Uh, right now, anyway, only two ten. I don't know if it's a you know cheap price or they got steamed. The Mets did, and this is the lowest total of the day at eight. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take the Mets here, uh, laying the one and a half runs here. Singh has been, you know, solid, like you said. And if I think this A's team is probably the worst in the league, I'm going to. Go ahead and uh, go against them here today. Taking those Mets on the run line. Yeah, I didn't mean to disrespect anybody when I didn't make Oakland the worst team. Uh, they are 3-10 and ten right now. Uh, <laughs> run line, you said, Mindy, for yeah. the Mets to crush them. It's funny, right? It, it does seem like we want to go again. They lost 10 of 11, but it happened kind of again yesterday for, uh, for the – uh, A's right. They came back and you know end up getting the run. They're losing by like four, and then all of a sudden they tie the game. It's it's happened a couple of times so far. So they've shown some life, but uh, Caprillion uh, has been pretty bad. He's gotten a little ERA and two starts so far. He's lost them both. The uh, Senga, uh, hey, maybe he is all that. Uh, now, granted, they were playing Miami in both of his starts, so he's got a 1.59 ERA, won them both. Uh, Mets just three and four on the road. They've gone under in four of their last five. The A's have gone over nine of their third games, but uh, I was going to make fun of them giving up a bunch of runs. But like I said, they, they've hit a little bit. They've come back in some games and – a battle in what was yesterday's game, 1.7 to 7 or something like that. So I uh, wish I would have, you know, wish, would have, could have. I like the over there, ended up just betting the game over. So as we had that uh, Oriole run line, didn't work out for us. So, But uh, in this one, why not, Mindy? The Mets should be able to smash them here uh, with those bets. I worry open they keep kind of getting run lines a little bit. I don't know. So let's try let's try the Mets with the run line victory. I didn't even check with the chat. Are they taking them? Uh, Scotch has got a lock there. Okay. <laughs> like that's it. That's all we need to know. Demetrius on him. Curtis wants to lay two and a half with him today. Steve's on him. And no problem, Ziggy. I, you know, Caprillion should be better, right? He's been, you know, he's had enough time now. And uh, and, and that's, and I think to me, Mindy, I think the Mets, uh, I mean, the Athletics are another team where, and we've seen it before with some of these teams in, in other sports. I don't want to just broad brush it, but. When you get no, when you get parks. bad, right, bad support at home, you're like, this sucks. Nobody's here, and then you get out on the road a little bit. And you can, you get a little bit more energized a little bit. There's a bigger crowd, right? Even if they're rooting against you, uh, there's it feels like more excitement than uh, you know. You can imagine the fans at the A's game getting cobwebs. Uh -oh. and, and you know it's funny. Uh, remember, I mentioned was it you? Was it on our show that I mentioned about the uh, the controversy with the concessions now? Yes, yesterday. Right? Yeah. Okay. And so it's even I've even seen taking a step further. Let me know if you guys saw this angle to the story. Uh, one major leaguer came out and criticized uh, a rule that about. Uh, I want to say maybe five, six, or seven ballparks have changed. You know how you go to the ballpark and the beer sales stop to the seventh like, inning. Yeah. Right? There have been a handful of parks because of the pace of play. They actually extended that to eighth inning. The player came out and said, that doesn't make any sense. In fact, you should push it back to the sixth inning. The thought of the 
of that is, right, I mean, uh, the game's going faster, so pull back the – again, I said, you know, they don't want to – they're not going to have – I want to get as many beers as possible. As you can, <laughs> yeah, right. right? But I think that the – you want to get the same amount of sales in in the shorter period of time, so you'd have to extend it. Yeah. So, right. So, uh, when you put at the eighth inning, that's going to be sooner you're going to get out someone may. Now, of course, they're not going to drink it. We know that, but someone may do that, and they'll be on the road that much sooner because the game goes by faster. And that the game at the sixth inning, if you cut the beer sales off in the sixth inning, then uh, that's further away and the game goes by faster. So I just want to kind of close that thought out on that from the other day. So from the Mets here. Deep thoughts. And uh, Scott. I mean, was, uh, yeah, deep thoughts. And the A's, you know, they're, oh boy. They, uh, there's a, that's what they do is go drink at the game, I guess. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the toniespicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code Tony T at checkout to save at 20%. Okay. Have fun. Watch another video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.